Hey everyone, this is Pie in the Sky. Also, Jonathan is my real name. No, you can call me Pie, Pie in the Sky, whatever. People slang call me Pie, but anyway, enough of that, about that stupid stuff. I'm driving in the car today on my way to go out for a beautiful morning bike ride. About 11 o'clock here in the St. Pete Clearwater area. Um, but I wanted to make a video about the pros and cons of living in the Sunshine State. There are about a million other pros and cons videos out there, so you probably will hear a lot of the same thing. Uh, it's just like a recourse. It's just my personal opinion of the pros and cons of living in Florida or the Sunshine State. Uh, the first thing about living in Florida that I like is the fact that there's a mecca of things to do. And no matter what part you live in Florida, it seems like you're close to it no matter where you are. Unless you're like in the boonies, in the middle of nowhere, you know, like central Ocala, Florida, it's a little bit further from things, but you're 50 miles virtually each way off the coast, so you're not very far from any, well, unless you live, of course, in Miami or Key West and drive all the way up. That's maybe the exception, <laughs> but um, there's a mecca of things to do, you know. I don't even have to mention what they are. Disney, you know, and Universal and Beaches Galore. That's just, you know, four, or two, excuse me, three of many activities to do. Or do what I'm doing, bike running in the morning. I love going bike running. Um, I don't get enough time in Florida to do it, unfortunately. My work schedule is so crazy. I'm, I moved down here to work, and boy, oh boy, do I work. A lot. Very rarely am I ever off on the weekends. I'm on call um, every weekend down here. And that gets to be kind of a burden for me personally, but it's just one, you know, I guess that'd be one of my cons, but anyway. So the first thing is there's a ton of stuff to do. Uh, the second thing is, of course, look around you, sunshine. There's sunshine year-round here, except for the afternoons, in most of the times. Except for the dead winter, you don't see as much rain, but you get a rainstorm, that will flash you right by. The good news is it's done within, you know, a few minutes. Uh, but you will, you will come by. You'll get rain every single day here in Florida. Every day you get rain. Uh, every day is a rainy day here in Florida. Not a snow day ever, but a rainy day. Um, so that's a big, big pro of sunshine. You get a lot of it. You get sunshine almost like literally every day, even if it's for a minute. You get sunshine every day here. So you can get your vitamin D in one way or the other. As well. The point I'm trying to make is without taking any supplements, you don't need any of that in Florida. The third thing that I love about the I love about Florida is I love the beaches here. Most of the beaches here are beautiful. It's, it's wonderful. You're coming up, you know, every waking up every day where I live in, the, uh, like I said, Tampa Bay. I'm right near the beach, 20 minutes every day from the beach. But everybody thinks I may go. You know, people watching this video would probably, you know, who never lived in Florida would say, "Oh, I would love to live at the beach every day," as my girlfriend's sister has said. And so is my own sister, and I said, uh, "Well." <laughs> <laughs> I, w I don't go to the beach every day. I don't remotely, closely go to the beach enough. It is what it is. Is what I have my point. It is what it is. You know, you try to um, you know go to the beach as much as you can because you feel like living in Florida. It feels like you have an obligation if you go to go to the beach because you live in Florida. Um, but you don't have to. You know, it's like people who live in Hawaii don't go surfing every day. Well, people who live in Florida don't go to the beach every day. We, we it's there for us. We'll go to it when we want to go to it. And 90% uh, of the time, it's too crowded. Seriously, I would say 90%. It's always crowded. And down here in the Tampa Bay coast, it never was this way uh, from what I was told a few years ago. But with the invention of the thing called the air conditioner, everybody says, oh, we can move down here now. We, we're cool. We can stay in. You know, the, we're basically wintertime for Florida. This is Florida's wintertime this summer. Nobody really goes much out in the summer. I really don't either. Sad to say. Uh, the winter time, I was out bike riding like you wouldn't believe, but summertime like now, oh no, it's way, way too hot. But I'm going now, I'm going early. If you go before noon, you're good. If you go afternoon, you're going to be toast. I don't recommend it afternoon, no way. That's why I would say go bike riding in the morning. Uh, so that's my top three pros. Now, my top three cons, fortunately, there's cons to every place that you live, including Florida. So the first con I have for Florida is it is crowded here, lots of traffic. Imagine that people would want to move to Florida because it's so beautiful. I can't imagine why you want to move to Florida, right? Duh. <laughs> so with that comes a lot of traffic. You get a lot of traffic. Did they say a lot of traffic? I meant to say a lot of traffic. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah, this my turn here. Oh well. Um, so yeah, there's traffic everywhere you go. But 
there's especially more traffic here in uh, Florida. Oh boy, oh boy, I hit a big puddle. Sorry about that, guys. That was deeper than a baby's bunk. Woo! Whoa, oh my goodness here. I'll be surprised. Man, oh man. Let's do that again, shall we? Because I went the wrong way, and I paid for it with a giant-ass pothole. Pardon the uh, footage here. I didn't realize that was... Holy crap. This is a hell of a... Well, you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. It's the... Uh, oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's because they're doing construction. So I apologize for the shaking video. So let me uh, continue where I was at. So the biggest con is traffic, yes. Traffic's a huge problem here in Florida. Um, and if you live, and if you're, especially where I am, where you're near the beaches more, you're gonna have more and more traffic. It's gonna get worse and worse as time goes on. So traffic's bad here. I've established that. The second con, like I mentioned, it gets really hot here in the summertime. Um, I personally, myself, don't mind it as much. My girlfriend hates the Florida heat. We've only been here I guess about eight, nine months, and she's already, we're already, we're moving to uh, Knoxville, Tennessee for work. We're transferring our job, and we love that we can do that opportunity. Sorry, guys. Camera went off. So since I hit that bump, everything went crazy. Uh, but we can, you know, transfer with our jobs, and we're so happy we can do that. But we're going to be going to Knoxville, and we, we can't wait for that. Can't wait. So that's something to look forward to, but... Uh, yeah, the, the Florida heat, though, guys, gets really hot here. So if you are coming to Florida, just know it's going to be hot in the summer like it is now. I mean, the average, it gets in the 90s every day. And some people like that, you know. I personally like it, but do I go outside all day every day? Oh, hell no. No way. It's way too hot to do that. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it gets hot. <laughs> um, the third con about living in Florida is Florida will test your patience. And that means test your patience with everything. And once again, I apologize. I'm trying to fix the camera, guys. So I'll just lean over. I apologize. Anyway, yeah, Florida will test your patience. The, what it's going to test your patience on is traffic, people, and weather. Those are the three things. Traffic, people, and weather, no particular order. That's going to test you on. you got to be ready for those things. you got to be ready for um, the ability to stand the heat. you got to be ready for the ability to... You know, uh, take take the heat and all kind of stuff. It's just you know, like crazy. You just gotta make sure you're ready for it. Um, and you don't want you don't want to you know, in the sense, um, I had to avoid an obstacle. You don't want to, in the sense, like you know, let those three things deter you from moving to Florida. Um, I'm really moving back. or moving not back. I never was from there. I'm really moving to Tennessee for my girlfriend's sake because we love each other dearly, and I'm willing to help her, but I'm, I'm also excited for the new adventure myself. Um, I like to live in the same place for very long. It's just fun to try new places. And that's what kind of draw, drew me to Knoxville. There's a lot of entertainment around there, too, so I will be doing a lot of videos in the future about Tennessee. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun day. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, so that's my top three con pros and cons, guys, of living in Florida. Um, but most of it's all, you know, I guess nitpicky stuff, but, you know, that's probably one of my top things. I mean, top reasons I would say, yeah, you're native moving to the Sunshine State. Um, the Sunshine State's got so much to offer. If you guys, you know, love entertainment, you love the beaches, you love just being around sunny weather all the time, and you don't miss the seasons, because there are, there's two seasons. There's Indian summer and summer here, as Florida Suburban Dad says. It's just true. And by the way, go check out Florida Suburban Dad. He's got some cool videos about Florida. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by him by any means. I just think he's a pretty cool guy. So go ahead and check out Florida Suburban Dad's YouTube channel. If you guys want any other information about um, living in Florida, uh, you know, anything like that. I mean, like, I could, I could go on forever. We could talk more about pros and cons, like little things. Like I, I can nitpick all I want, but I think Florida is a pretty cool place to live. I just think that if you come to Florida, just... You know, do note that you're going to be feeling, you know, summer heat. You're going you're gonna to be feeling a lot of these things. You're going to get, your patience is going to be well tested with the traffic and so many other things. But you get a lot more pro, you get more good things that come your way. So don't forget to, don't forget to unfollow me. 
unsubscribe and not like a thing. You know, that's my motto. We do the opposite here. This is opposite YouTube channels here. This is the anti-like YouTube channel. I don't beg for people to like and subscribe to me. If you like me, cool. If you don't, whatever. I mean, I try my best to make these videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. If you want anything else, any other information about a video, let me know, and I'll answer for you. Peace to the O-U-T.